Virgin Galactic stock could skyrocket any time now and you don't want to be left on the sidelines if this happens. What's up guys, my name is Spenny. I've been investing in the stock market for five years and I've managed to grow a portfolio over six figures. On this channel, I share my success and my failures and over time, hopefully we can become better investors together. So full disclosure, I do have 330 shares in Virgin Galactic and I am buying more at this price point. There are a few events that are happening over the next few months and there is a strong chance that Virgin Galactic stocks could react very positively if these events go according to plan. This video has been broken up into two parts. Part one, we're gonna be looking at the history of Virgin Galactic stock price and how it's reacted to news and events. And we're gonna use this history to try and somewhat predict how Virgin Galactic's stock price will react to future events that are happening in October, December, and hopefully early next year. And I'm gonna be going over what events these are in part two. So in part two, I'm gonna be covering these events and how I believe that if these events go successful, Virgin Galactic stock price has a long ways to climb up. And I'll be explaining my plan to capitalize on this opportunity. Let's get in it. Okay, so because Virgin Galactic is a very speculative stock and pre-revenue, the stock price reacts on good news and bad news. So we're gonna be looking at the stock price chart and at the previous news updates on Virgin Galactic. And we're gonna see how the stock price reacts to news. And by doing this method, we're gonna be able to somewhat predict how Virgin Galactic stock price should react to upcoming events that are just around the corner with Virgin Galactic. And in part two, I'll be covering those events and why they're so important. So looking back uh, in 2019, uh, December 5th, the stock price went from 7.30 a share to 8.80. Uh, there wasn't really much at all at this time that happened. Looking at its uh, news history here, it was just probably severely undervalued at this level. And then the stock price went from 9.19 a share to 11 over the course of a couple weeks. Looking at the news, it says the spaceship company attaches feather structure to wing on the next Virgin Galactic spaceship. So this was important. Um, so this was important, but nothing too spectacular. But the stock price reacted very positively. Now the big jump is just up here, where on January 7th of this year, it went from 1140 a share all the way to 1893 on January 23rd. So it almost doubled. So let's take a look and see what happened. So January 18th, see second spaceship in Virgin Galactic's fleet completes major build milestone. This was pretty big news for Virgin Galactic and the stock price loved it. Nothing too surprising here. And then soon after that, it just, it dipped a little bit, went from 18 down to 17. And then it climbed up, it went from 18 on February 7th all the way to 38 or 42 a share on February 19th. So let's take a look at February 6th around there and see what happened. So on February 13th, Virgin Galactic welcomes Space to Unity to Spaceport America, New Mexico. This is again, big news for Virgin Galactic and this was right around when the stock price shot up. You see right here in the 13th, there's a little, little divot there in the stock and then boom, all the way up. So the stock is very reactive in news and this is normal when, when a speculative stock is pre-revenue. And then shortly after that, a huge dip occurred and we're gonna take a look at the news but I believe this is probably from coronavirus if I remember right. So from 42 and then February 8th, 28th, it went down to 19 and then it corrected all the way down to $11 a share on March 19th. So let's take a look at the news in that time frame from February 19th to March 23rd. Uh, okay, it just released its, I don't know why Virgin Galactic stock is reacting so heavily on its financial results. That people have got to realize this is pre-revenue, this stock, it means absolutely nothing. Like, it doesn't matter if they make $200,000 a quarter or two million, it, it really means nothing. They haven't even started their business plan yet. 
once they start flying customers to space, that is when revenue becomes important. But again, this could just be uh, short sellers and traders just manipulating the stock. Um, and then we have this, where New Galactic invites aspiring astronauts to take one small step as company experiences rocketing global demand. So, and this was February 20th, 25th. Let's look at the stock chart and see when that was. This, it, it didn't care. It, you can see it, it dropped massively regardless of that. This is when the coronavirus was really starting to heat up and that's really what this dip was caused by. We can look a bit, yeah, and then it's March 30th or past or the dip. So coronavirus shot the stock down from 42 to about $11 a share. All right, let's look after that because it, it corrected pretty fast all the way to $17 a share within just a few days here, March 18th to the 25th. And there's really no, no really important news. This was just obviously an overreaction from the coronavirus. And so the stock rebounded a bit. And then it was very reactive again, super volatile, very volatile. Let's see if we can find any interesting news. So they signed the Space Act agreement with NASA on April 27th. Let's take a look and we'll see what the stock price did here. This is 27th, didn't really care, but then just a couple weeks later, boom, May 5th to 7th, it shot up from 16 to 21, about there. And yeah, it, it, it was important news. I'm surprised it didn't go further, but, but still a good little jump there. Next big news here was May 1st, Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 completes first flight from Spaceport America. So May 1st, let's look at May 1st. Okay, it makes more sense. It was, it was partly probably from this news, the Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 and the NASA agreement that combined caused it to jump like that. But then shortly after, immediately, massive dip again, all the way down to that 15 range. 15 is a strong support for Virgin Galactic. So just keep that in mind when you are buying the stock. It's hard for it to dip too far below 15. If it does, the next support's around 10. Um, okay, so what made it dip here? Let's look at the news. <laughs> Again, it, it dipped because, let's see, May 5th and the financial results came out. Yeah, it didn't like, didn't like the financial results. Result. This shouldn't be concerning to you guys at all. It, it, like I said earlier, the financial results do not matter with Virgin Galactic pre-revenue. At least it doesn't for me and it really shouldn't for you. Matters once to start flying people to space. Uh, I kind of trade sideways here for a little bit. So let's take a look around June 29th. Um, Virgin Galactic signed space out agreement with NASA for private orbital space flight to the International Space Station. So this is good news, June 22nd. Uh, 25th Virgin Galactic flight test program update. Spaceship 2 preparing for a second test flight from New Mexico. Again, good news. Same day, you can see here, Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 completes second flight from Spaceport, so they completed it, went good. Then July 2nd, Virgin Galactic announces date for world, vir uh, world first virtu virtual reveal of spaceship cabin design. This was a lot of hype around the stock, I remember this pretty clearly. And we can see right around here, boom, stock was shooting up all the way to 26 down from around 16 and then 20 right here. Uh, there was also Michael Coldglazer getting announced as the CEO around the 15th. Uh, the stock didn't care too much around that. And then what sent it down was actually the reveal here when when the stock, when uh, sorry, when the cabin reveal happened, people hated that it was virtual and it just sent it soaring back down. Really, I didn't have a problem with that though. Uh, I think it looks really good and I think customers are going to be quite happy with their experience. Um, so now we just kind of traded around 17 range, 15 to 17 range we've been trading for uh, the last little bit. And they've also released the Mac 3 um, aircraft design which is, it's not, it's huge that they're going to do the Mac 3 and the supersonic travel but the design isn't I guess huge news but this will be they're probably biggest source of revenue in the future, so we gotta keep um, up to date on how that's going for Virgin Galactic. Um, and then yeah, financial results, people weren't happy about their financial results again, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, so that's the history, and we can kinda get an idea how Virgin Galactic likes to react to news. Now, in part two, I'm gonna be covering upcoming events 
that could be very important for Virgin Galactic stock price. And I think we could see a huge surge in the price coming up. And so we're gonna cover that now. Okay, so Virgin Galactic already announced they are two steps away from being FAA approved to begin commercial space flights. And we can see that in CNBC, they said Virgin Galactic plans next test space flight for October 22nd as it nears flying founder Richard Branson. Okay, and the plan right now is to fly Richard Branson in the first quarter of 2021. And I'm gonna cover that in a second because that's probably the biggest news Virgin has coming up in the next few months. So here we, we're gonna read that Virgin Galactic plans to conduct its next crewed space flight test on October 22nd, according to documents the company filed with the Federal Communications Commission on Tuesday. I'm gonna cover this in more detail in a second here, guys, because there's been a bit of misinformation. Um, I've seen other YouTubers post about this specifically. So just stay tuned. I I'm gonna be covering this. It's important for you to hear. So the flight will be, will be the first of two that the space tourism company has planned to complete testing. So this article is saying that they are gonna have two more test flights to complete the FF FAA approval process. I'm gonna cover that more in a second too, which is important. It says Virgin Galactic last month that the second test space flight will then have four mission specialists inside the cabin. If both test flights succeed, Virgin Galactic expects to fly founder Sir Richard Branson on the first quarter of 2021. Um, and then they can just start commercial flights after that. So then it says here, so the launch may happen in the days following before the October 22nd space flight. Virgin Galactic said in, in the filing of plans to conduct four hour test flights of the spacecraft's carrier aircraft White Knight 2 with those flights scheduled for October 1st and October 7th. So now I'm gonna cover something interesting as I dug into their filings myself. So if we go to their SEC filings and we go to the most recent one on August 13th, this is like 23 pages long and I read it all for you guys. So drop a thumbs up if you appreciate that. It's, it's a lot of work to make these videos. But as you can see, all the way down to page 21 is where we wanna be, um, which it's what is talking about the next space flight um, occurring. Okay, so page 21, we wanna see in this paragraph right here, they stated, we have a current FAA reusable launch vehicle operator license that allows test and payload revenue flights from both Mojave, California, I probably pronounced that terribly, and Spaceport America, New Mexico. Prior to being able to carry space flight participants, we are, requir we are required by the FAA to submit final integ integrated vehicle performance results conducted in an operational flight environment, including final configuration of critical systems and aspects of the environmental control system and human factor performance. We have been submitting these verification reports throughout the test program and anticipate that the final two reports, this is important right here, that the final two reports will be submitted following the successful completion of our next powered flight, our next powered flight, not flights, from Spaceport America by the end of 2020. So I know it's been said that they're gonna do, that they plan on getting FFA, FAA approval in completing the next couple flights. However, in their SEC filings, it states here that, that the final two reports will be submitted following the successful completion of our next power flight. So that flight is implying one flight. So it's possible that on October 22nd, well actually another key note is that the flight might not occur on October 22nd itself. It actually does um, say as well in the SEC filing that it's anticipated that it's gonna occur um, October 22nd or just after. So it could be within that week um, after October 22nd. Now with my job, I do work for the Canadian government. I do read legal documents all the time. So I do find errors and things quite often. Again, the flight could be an error. -ish. It, might mean to me it might mean to say flights. However, I do find that interesting that it does say flight and then that could complete their next two uh, their final two FAA, FAA approval reports. Um, so just keep that in mind. Around October 22nd, when they're doing that, it might just get approved after that one test flight. Because um, I've seen in other YouTubers' videos that they're talking about uh, another test flight occurring in December, 
and I can't find it anywhere. It, it could have been said by Richard Branson or one of the, um, the directors at um, Virgin Galactic. I can't find it, um, but I do find it interesting what the SEC filing says here. Okay, so we have this news that's happening. And then just going on top of that, I, I did find another article here that said Virgin Galactic said Monday, so this is around August 4th, uh, so Monday was just before August 4th, um, that it expects to advance to the next phase of its flight, uh, of its test flight program in the fall with two manned flights. So they probably are completing two manned flights. Um, assuming both flights demonstrate the expected results, Virgin Galactic anticipates Sir Richard Branson's flight to occur in the first quarter of 2020, of 2021, the company said in a statement. So maybe they are doing two flights to demonstrate to the FFA that, um, that, that they're ready, essentially. Um, but yeah, comment down below what you guys think of that. I found it interesting that CC filing said flight. I might just be getting too uh, detail-oriented uh, in this, and this is kind of um, just from my job that I get like this. Um, but either way, it's kind of, it's good to know, but then the day, wh why is this news important? Because when we looked at the history of the stock price, it reacts very volatile on news. So if these test flights go well, whether it's one or two, we can expect the stock price to react very positively. It'll probably reach new highs. Um, and obviously, if it doesn't go well, well, it'll probably reach new lows. Um, and that's one of the risks um, with a speculative stock. And then, so this is important, a huge step, because then after this, it's Richard Branson going to space. So the stock is going to likely just climb until Richard Branson goes to space. And we can expect that first quarter of 2021. And so again, if, if the FAA approval goes well and Richard Branson goes to space, you, you need to get into the stock before those events happen because the stock would have already appreciated and made all, the, all its gains from that. Um, however, it's a risk because we don't know if it is going to go well. So you got to make that decision on your own if you're willing to take that or not. Um, I am personally. Um, I believe in this company and I think that it's going to do well. Um, but things never do go perfect and especially when they're trying to um, achieve space tourism. It's never been done before so we can expect some delays. Um, but of course the stock price, it won't like it, but you just kind of got to ride that storm. We're coming up to some critical events in Virgin Galactic's um, business and comment down below what you guys think of what's uh, occurring in the next few months and whether you're going to be buying before the, the test flights in October and potentially Richard Branson going to space. And yeah, if you like the video and you learned something, please uh, leave a like on the video. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content.